So, while I have your attention, you should know I am a black man. Nobody knows I like romantic comedies. I love my wife and my daughter. Be authentic. Don't be silent. My name is Greg Fields, and I am the morning meteorologist at WFAA. Born and raised in Lexington, Kentucky. Um, now, if you know anything uh, about Lexington, Kentucky, uh, about its history, segregation, racism, it's, it's, it's part of the fabric of, of Lexington. So I, I grew up in that atmosphere, just hearing the stories. Uh, we just kind of always knew that that was part of you know, life growing up in Kentucky. And I guess in some ways, <laughs> I was taught not to trust white people. Uh, my dad or grandfather never said, oh, you don't trust white people. You know, that was never said. But just from their actions and some of the things that I heard from them, the stories they told, I just kind of grew up kind of keeping white people at, at arm's length. Does that make sense? A couple of instances that I really remember in high school when I was on the uh, junior varsity basketball team, um, the coach canceled one of our games. It was in a small Southeast Kentucky town at the end of the season, and he was concerned for our safety. So we just didn't go play the game. And then a good friend of mine was on the football team. They had an away game. They went to the game. They pulling up to the stadium to play the game. And there are signs that are saying, that say, go home, the N word. You know, we're in high school. Um, and there was a dummy hanging from a tree, a noose around his neck, hanging from a tree. There was no public outcry, there were no protests, there was no news coverage of that. That's just the way it was growing up in Kentucky, the kind of stuff that we had to deal with. So that's when it really, I think, started to hit home for me. I grew up with this sense of not trusting, you know, somebody who didn't look like me. And I know I, I shouldn't be that way, but just from my own experiences. And, you know, I can tell you a few stories in, in the business, doing what I do when I got my first job in my hometown. Uh, so I'd been on a couple of months, and I, you know, think things are going well, but I get called into the, to my uh, boss's, my news director's office, and he sits me down and tells me, Greg, I think you need to find another career. I don't think you're going to be able to make it as a meteorologist. And I'm like, okay, why, and why do you say that? You know, am I not good? You know, uh, he's like, no, it's because you're black. And I was devastated. So, you know, all those stories that I'd heard my grandfather and my father talking about was now hitting home to me. It's like, I couldn't believe that I was sitting here and having somebody tell me that. Uh, so that, that, that was very hurtful. Um, but at the same time, it, it motivated me, you know, e even more. George Floyd dying was there in front of everybody. So you can't just turn away from it and act like it's not there. There's no grainy video. There's no, you know, far off, you know, police, you know, dash cam, the, you know, funny angle. It was right there in front of you. You can't act like it doesn't exist anymore. Uh, and, and, we, and you have to make yourself have these difficult conversations and understand that it's not just a black person's problem. Racism. It's not just our problem. It's your problem as well. It's everybody's problem. Because the way I see this, 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 is, this is bigger than us. I think God has intentionally brought all these things, as bad as they may be, has brought all these things into our lives. He has stopped everything. COVID-19, that shut everything down. So we were all watching. You didn't have any, you, there were no distractions. So, so that, that was all part of this. And we all saw it. He's gotten our attention. I think God wanted to get our attention and he got the world's attention. And I think just from that, as tragic as it has been, I think he has gotten our attention to draw us to, to him, draw us closer together, and then we can move forward. So for me, that's what's really different here.